test. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Can you hear the game? Thank you so much, Child Granny. I've been playing for like half of an hour. Over half an hour with no with no sound. Dang it. Can you hear the game? There's like music playing. Like this. Great. Whew. Gotta love restarting my computer and all my settings get messed up. Ugh. It's a good thing. I didn't do much. I didn't do much. Um, but that sucks. That really sucks. Thank you for helping me with that. Whew. Great. Got to what if I told you I got into the back room behind the blue steel door? Oh, okay. Well, I do hear you make noise back there, so good for you. He's really, really holding himself back here. It takes a lot of willpower not to ask. Obviously, he's been wanting to know what's behind the door. Aren't you going to ask me what's back there? Okay, what is back there? Pinball machines. Ha! I knew it. I've always wondered where those machines by the door came from. And they told me there was some kind of pinball thing here, too. I knew it. Were there any back there? In working order, I mean. I'm sore! Thank you! Welcome. Thank you for thank you for chatting. We've just resolved a minor conflict where none of the sound was working in the game. Now it's working. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Child Granny, for showing up and letting me know that that was doing it. Otherwise, I would have like a sad time. You want to play? Play pinball? No, I was just wondering if you found pinball machines. There. Posture check. Oh, that's a good one. To the other side. Other side. Oh, head. Ooh, stretch. Got a little lumbar support pillow. Just that. I got a weird neck pillow thing. Just that. All right, yeah. Posture check. Posture check. Excellent. He was wondering about something business related, about how much money he could make of one. Think of turning this place into a pinball arcade? No. But we could diversify the entertainment options, seeing as you've opened the door back there. The machine we have in the corner now is broken. It wouldn't hurt to get a little life in here, other than the hellish karaoke machine. That one's always causing trouble. Oh, I'm going to use that karaoke machine. Yeah, those numbers he's adding up must be making good sense to him right now. Sounds like he cares about the place. 
place. He's not going to be overjoyed to hear that it's part of the doomed commercial area. He should still know. You have to be forewarned about these things. I have to warn you. I may have discovered that the whirling is part of the doomed commercial area. What? Why would you say that? We're at a completely different address from that whole thing. So he knows of the doomed commercial area and its address. He's thought about this. Wait, so you know of the curse? Oh my god, go away. Crazy animals. Everyone knows of it. The whirling is listed on the intercom outside as one of the businesses in building B. You should get your wiring fixed. I tried to call and couldn't reach you. I've been working here for a long time, and that intercom has never been used by the whirling. The Whirling was once the East Delta Pinball Arcade, which failed. Though perhaps the Whirling will escape the curse. Does this look like part of a doomed commercial area? This pre-revolutionary tilework, these high ceilings, the nice rooms, well, most of the rooms. For 14 years, man, that's how long I've worked here. I've kept this place up through hail and through sleet. Fuck me, some doom ghost. He's done a fine job too. Though he spoke very important to him. How are you doing, child granny? How you doing, Ivysaur? Sorry, I got kinda of lost in uh that my audio wasn't working. It kinda of set me out. How are you doing today? Happy Wednesday. Really care about the whirling, huh? Yeah. It, it's slowly growing on me again. It's beautiful in its own way. Especially for this neighborhood. I've been trying to keep it that way. Even if it is part of the damn doomed commercial area. Ah, so you finally admit it? Yes, your police skills have delivered. I'm sure you'll get a commendation. Maybe even a promotion. What is this doomed hostile thing? Is it a thought? No. Oh, is it completed? Is that what it is? Oh, okay, completed. Don't care what anyone says, I love guards. Guy's just growing on me. He is. In the beginning, you know, I was on the fence. He was kind of a jerk, but you know, we did kind of wreck the place and cause a bunch of damages and he, he cares about it. Um, yeah, I like guard. He's one, he's a, he's a, he's a likable character. I'm glad he's here. Who owns this place? Some real estate management company. They never come around here, just collect money from afar. Honestly, I think some money laundering might be involved. Look at he's being honest. Who named it Whirling and Rags? Well, it sure as hell wasn't the real estate company. It was you? You look surprised. No, we... What? It's a great name, I know. <laughs> I did all this last time. With great names, too. It's from a song. But, uh, I skipped over the save. Hail, Holy Queen, by the Ateneers. Hail, Holy Queen of the Sea. You're whirling in rags, you're vast and you're sad. Good pick. Other cafeterias? What about them? One is a basement dive frequented by chain smoking communists. I can't tell you how sick I am of Kras Mazov and Ignis Nielsen and all those old ghosts. Female personification of the sea. Whirling in rags. Hail, holy queen of the sea. I love the name Whirling in rags. I gotta be honest. I do too. It's, it's deep in the heart there. You know, 
people who play Disco Elysium are like, they know about the Whirly and Rags. Uh, every time I play this game, I get really strong... Um, I'd be sore. I'm not sure I understand how it relates to the vast, sad, feminine sea. Hail, holy queen of the sea. You're whirling in rags. You're vast and you're sad. The rags part. Um... So one thing I think that is important to consider that I haven't been considering this whole time up until last game session is the science fiction element of this game, which really changes the, the way that we have to think about everything. Uh, because of the pale. Hail, holy queen of the sea, you are whirling in rags. So, like, dancing. You're vast and you're sad. Um, obviously, the sea is vast and you're sad. I think the sad part... Could be about the pale, whirling in rags. So it could it could be about the pale. Uh, that when you go out into the open waters, yeah, I think I think it's about maybe either someone who went into the pail and maybe came back and they were like mad and crazy. Something like that. The, the queen of the sea. And so then another thing to consider would be, uh, what is it? Is it, is the, the queen Let's see. Now that you're using the word queen, does this have to do anything with like the nationalism, the like king and queen sort of thing? Is it have to do with like a spirit, like a water spirit? Um, thank you, Ivysaur, for the follow. Oh yeah, maybe I should move that thing. Where are you at? Did I grab it? Yeah. Bingo. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. Um, I think it's important to think about these things. I'm definitely also kind of like snapped in on it because it's talking about the water, which is a really important aspect of this game. It's so integral to the story and everything. The, the fact that every that we're on like an archipelago. Um, there's water all around us. Uh, all the different regions in the world are separated by water. There's the pale in between them. Um, Holy Queen of the Sea. You're whirling in your rags, you're vast and you're sad. Is the sea vast? Is the queen vast is the queen just a personification of the sea? 
You are whirling in rags. Huh. He's hesitating, not sure if he should share this information with you. Encourage him. And the others? The other is a kebab cart. It's very successful in its way, but it's nothing like the whirling. Well, good luck with you in this place then. Luck has got nothing to do with it. I need to think about where I'm going to place those pinballs. I have a feeling they're going to help. Against the doom, it's implied. So, if you didn't have anything else to tell me about my establishment, can we, you know, wrap it up? Yes. So. Um. I believe I have to talk to Titus about the lynching. In which case, you know, I've got to get all of my, uh, all my clothes in order. I don't need an encyclopedia hat. But I mean, what else am I going to do? Put on the cop hat. You like my character's outfit? Thanks. Um, I was just wearing the RCM commander's jacket uh, because I had the visual calculus thing going on. You know, changing a, a fair amount. Need the perception. He looks... Old Harry looks suave, though. Got the, the double box... He's looks like he's got serious business on his mind. I, I don't know if I need this composure right now, but like, what else do I do with it? Yeah, composure is the best one in that case. Perception Inland Empire, Encyclopedia. Yes, you see. Maybe I could switch the shirt out because I don't quite need conceptualization right now. A little drama. Less empathy. I don't know. I don't want less empathy. What do you do? Logic. Maybe just a little buff to logic is all you need. Almost imperceptible difference. Alright, I think I have to do this. It's you again. What is it? Okay, I talked to Classier. Now I need to talk to Ruby. Why? I have not played this before. This is my first playthrough. It's my first playthrough. I know a lot about the lore. Well, um, it's all just stuff I've been learning in game. The I would say there's only like two or three things that I've looked up um, and those things are only oh, hold on a second my dog scratching at the door So I looked up uh, a video where you have like an eyebrow contest with Kim and he tells you that he smoked marijuana in the past. I looked that up. Um, I looked up 
and it's just videos. I just like watched three videos. That was one video. The other video I watched was the like the the like crypto racist ultra national plot line, which was weird. Um, it's not something that I want to to do in the game, so I just checked it out because um, it popped up. And then the other one was I watched a video of. I guess there's four videos. The other one, I watched a video of the new content they added. Some of the little scenes that you can do. Um, some of those I did in my game, so it wasn't that big of a surprise. Um, and then I watched, maybe that was the same video. We like find a leopard, a leopard onesie on the beach. So not much. Everything that I know about the game is simply from this one game run. Um, so I guess I've been lucky in, in choosing my skills and, and the play style that I've had because I've uncovered all this, this stuff kind of on my own high conceptualization, uh, and inland empire are my two biggest ones. And then I guess I also have a lot of perception. Visual Calculus, Suggestion, Encyclopedia. Yeah, my main one is Conceptualization. And then Inland Empire. So that's kind of, those are the two that I've, with a cool build, also made Conceptualization my signature skill. Yeah, that just seemed like, if I'm, if I'm going to play this game and I'm going to like think about it while I play it, then, uh, you know, being able to identify and deconstruct the concepts seemed interesting and important. Uh, but then also, I, it turns out that Inland Empire was, all, was kind of something that I was looking for, too. Um, so that ended up kind of being another thing that I've been dumping points into. Uh, two in Psyche, yeah. I also, yeah, I've been putting on clothes that do it. I don't know thoughts. Um, I don't want to put one more into it right now. I've got these skill points. Two empty thoughts. I've thought about getting rid of this advanced race theory. Uh, it gives me plus one conceptualization and I don't think I need that. I'm kind of done with this thing about this. Um, figure out what to do hold on a second I did do, just do a quick save all right let's back up let's back up normally I've been picking some pretty sane and rational options uh, every once in a while I kind of get weird but this Harry, he's he's smart, he's helpful, he's dedicated, he's you know on the level, but uh, he also went onto a laudanum induced delirium, and the paranormal instinct whispers his name, her name into his ear. Sounds like you're making her a suspect in this. Not on my watch, you're not. Ruby's one of us. We're not gonna throw her under your moral lantern steam roller. Fuck that shit. And fuck you too, moral fa- Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. You know how it works, guys. That's nothing. That's just legalese. You don't even have a sound theory. I don't want to be rude, but we're trying to get some R&R &R here. Think you could fuck off now? 
That was strictly from a roleplay perspective. I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly... <laughs> Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. <laughs> that is exactly what that is. Oh my gosh. Well... All right, you played this game before, Abby. So I need your help. Two things. I've been doing this blind. So blind. Oh yeah. My character's got it going on. Old Harriet Du Bois here. I need two things. One, how do I get to the island? And two, how do I get to the roof on the boardwalk? Do you know? If not, it's okay. Because my quest requires me to get to this island up here, this northern island, and then also I need to get onto the roof of the building on this boardwalk here. It's part of my quest. Um, and I cannot figure it out. Do I need to like, there's like rocks here. Do I need to like show up when it's snowing and then I can like walk across it? Cause I remember I needed to show back up somewhere when it was snowing. My mind told me that it's like, come back here when it's snowing. But I forgot where it was, but I need to get to this island. And then I need to explore the like there's some there's somewhere on this boardwalk that I haven't gotten to and I see stairs on the top of one of these buildings that I can access but you can't get inside of the building those two things are just Maybe I need, like, do I need to wait another day? Oh, yeah. Detective Prime here. Can't figure out how to get Joyce to open up. Did her a favor and she could wave off the formality so you just need to like tell her things is that what it is i come back to the screen a lot and royal in my own ignorance find the true reason the trap was empty local kids might know no they don't none of the kids know none of the kids care Where are the other kids? Is it you, Kuno? Kuno saw you wield that gun. Sweet graffito action pig. Kuno likes that delinquent shit. Yeah, you like art, Kuno? Fuck no, art shit. Write an imaginary notebook. Got it. Arts, shit. 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 
Kuno doesn't give a shit. I got Kuno to open up. I know what's going on with Kuno. Well, there's also the drug situation. But, uh... Kuno doesn't fucking care. See? What if I talk to old C over here? Nope. Okay. See, none of the kids have anything that they want to talk about regarding the uh, the insects. There's only so many kids. I've talked to them all. None of them have anything to say about the missing insects. All right. Fuck no, Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno doesn't care about your Twitch stream. It's you again. What is it? Yeah, it's me again. Guess what? I've had a little time to walk around the parlor here and uh, I'll tell you what. A sudden flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its airy blaze. Floor plans, bullet trajectories, webs of human emotion, all channeled into a single thought. Why are you so sure Ruby didn't off him? Because she was here, all night, with us. He's cobbling together shit so he can put her away. It's COP 101. She was here all night, 11.30 to 12.15. She was here during... All that time? Yeah, with us, drinking, near the stage there. She didn't go to the toilet? No. In a whole 45 minute window, she was with you the whole time? All right, she took a fucking leak, okay? For one moment, maybe, went out too. She has a complex operation to run from her lorry. She's a busy girl, always has been. This complex operation is probably something illegal. Just because she was gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot the Merc. I've been through this. It's not plausible. All right, we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for sometime during the window. This was crucial. Now let's place her on that roof. You got his attention. Now don't ruin it by making weird claims. Remember, you can still mess this up. You do agree the shot came from the roof, right? Why not? You can't draw a straight line into Klausia's window from any of the surrounding buildings. Not from what I know about Martinet. Maybe from the coast. But like I said, I've been too busy dealing with you idiots. So no, I don't think it was a sniper. It was close up. There's a 72% chance the bullet came from the roof. 72%? That is a percentage, you know. Where'd you get it from? Your guys in the lab? I analyzed it on the spot. Turns out I can do that. No, you can't. I know what you did here on the weekend. People dog. And what they say doesn't sound like a science call. You're a madman. Those numbers were an asshole, man. Yeah, and they don't put head on the roof either. It's just mambo jambo. He hasn't got shit. There's a secret route in the kitchen that leads straight to the roof. Oh. Through what looks like an abandoned pinball workshop. Mm -hmm. People say there was a pinball arcade here sometime before. Have fun with your phone call, Ivy Soar. We'll see you later. He stealth the pinball arcade. <laughs> Weird place. Went bankrupt. Okay, but how'd you get up? There's no room for a staircase in this building. Or an elevator for that matter. 
The elevator is outside the building. It's an old dumb waiter used for moving pinball machines up and down from the workshop. From there, a door leads straight to the roof. You just step outside. Ruby could have gone up, shot him, come down. All under seven minutes. That's quite the theory. We need to have a look at that secret passage, boy. I'm on it, boss. Right when the law clears, me and Angus are going up there. It's a dumb way to not an industrial lift. How about I go instead of... Just now. You got something else to back this route up? Or is that it? I also found footprints upstairs in the old workshop. Footprints. Recent. Recent. A week or two. That close, huh? How fortunate. I'll take a thorough look at those prints myself before I believe that call. Good news is, I'm still listening. There are pinball machines in the workshop, still operational. Right. What the fuck does that got to do with Ruby? Just make an observation. He makes a gruff gesture for you to continue. Have you noticed the windshot back and the outer wall of the whirling? I've seen the winch. I'm not blind. You saying it's part of the elevator she used to get up there? That's right. That's wall mystery down there. An architectural mystery. Doesn't much concern Ruby, does it? I would firmly establish Ruby could have access to the roof where a man was shot. Firmly, firmly doesn't go well with could have. There's a route to the roof. Me and the boys need to check it out. That's what we established. But a route does not put that bullet in his head. A gun does that, and Ruby doesn't carry one. Phase two, murder weapon. Get a gun in her hand. If not that, then at least a shadow of a doubt. And the shape of a gun. Just don't contradict yourself. If it doesn't sound like Ruby did it, maybe keep it to yourself. There's a small 28% chance that the shot came from beyond the roof. Yes, God damn it! I know what a 72% chance means. It means there's a 28% chance it isn't that. And 28% is no small chance either. Just making sure we are on the same page. It doesn't hold you. We are just checking info, can be new. I analyzed the... I've analyzed the bullet that killed him. It was jacketed. So... So it had to come from a breech loading rifle. Military grade. Not even you militia monkeys have those. This goes against your short range theory. If the murder weapon was military grade, how did Ruby get it? You don't know. Just be honest. I'm just being upfront with what I know. Right. That's my so, let me extend you the same courtesy. She's connected to you know what. Organized crime, down in Jamrock probably. He's not being too forthcoming. This is not a surprise. So she may have access to semi-automatics, but that's a long fucking stretch of the imagination. Show them the antique rifle. There are weapons like this just lying around, Martinez. That looks antique. A Bell McGray. It's inoperable. Where'd you get it? Oh, 
come on, don't tell him. The cellar under the bookshop is hidden there, with others just like it. Twenty, maybe thirty rifles, I judge. Also broken, but still, there were too many. And there must be other caches too. God damn it! We need to close that dump down for good. That's a goddamn breech loader, dude. Find one that works. You got a military grade weapon that shoots jacketed ammunition. He sees it. This is coming together. He must. Time to really close the deal. Show them the bullet. Hold out the bullet. This is the bullet that did it. 4.46 millimeter. Bell McGrave uses the same caliber. The blonde man looks at the mushroomed Deathbringer in the evidence bag and says, Yeah, the bitch is jacketed all right. Four millimeter too. Whoa. Well, god damn. It's not proof, but it's a possible You have been thorough. I'll give you that. I didn't say I'd prove she had the murder weapon. Just that we need to find her. All right. Keep talking. I'm getting a bit curious about some things myself. Pete, we're not seriously considering it, are we? Ruby wouldn't do this. Why would she do something like this? Phase three. Motive. The last component. The big one. Get this and they'll give her to you. Remember, don't piss him off. That never works. It's not, why did she kill him? It's, why did she organize the cover-up? And I suppose you have a theory on that. She could have just been covering up for herself, Titus. Think about it. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? To hang me. We went along, but she suggested it. She had, like, a fully formed plan and shit. Right when she came back downstairs. Really, Shanks? Closio wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan if I'd have been first. Time for a logics demonstration. Eugene, let's assume he killed him. He scoffs. Think. You kill him. Get up there. Shoot him. Get down. Would you prefer to go on trial with your friends as part of a lynch mob or alone for committing murder? The man is silent. If she used us to cover her own shit up, well, that's a serious violation of the Hardy Code, Bart. Which is why she did She would never do that. Why aren't more of you defending her? This is fucking stupid, Titus. Glenn. I thought the same thing when she skipped town and left us in this shit. Oh, so he didn't rule her out completely. And she skipped town. This is good. Titus, you have to see it. Things don't add up. We need to talk to her. Silence. He looks around the room. The old man in the corner nods. A very small nod. And a trickle of tobacco spit on his lip. Yeah, I see it. There's one more thing I've been wondering about ever since you asked me where she is. Add it to your list of suspicions, if you won't. I don't know. I don't know where she went. She just got up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where. However hard I asked. Wanna know why? Why? She was afraid I would tell you. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would. She knew there's evidence on her, and she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior. Why fleeing is always incriminatory. Perhaps. Ask her if you find her. It won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. When did she leave? Friday afternoon, when you first arrived. I got word the RCM was in town. Then she came in to see me. Told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. What was she scared of? I told you. You. 
Me, as in the RCM? No, you, as in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. And they hold in his heart that first. And the hole in his heart. Why not? You suck on that gum like someone told you a brand new asshole. Don't forget the funny tie, too. How can I forget? You know, when I first saw you limp in here, I thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply. But now I'm not so sure. I told you. Yes, you. And they hold in his heart that first. Probably knew me from my singing days. Yeah, that's real funny. You, you know, when I first saw you limp in here, I thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply. But now I'm not so sure. What else did Ruby tell you about me? She said you have a funny taste in clothes and that you won't stop. Won't stop? Until you have something on her. She said she's heard of you from Jamrock, that you're a human can opener, that you play suspects against each other. Open them up like can. Fucking hell. Titus, did he just open Angus up like a can? Yes, he did. Now we can whine about it, whack him, or we can go on with our lives. I'm having to go on our lives kind of day, Al. How about you? Silence. He nods. Is that true, Kim? Am I a can opener? You are, Kim sister. Anything else? Anything? Yeah. There was something else. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning on her lips. This cop, Titus. This cop, he. But she was too scared. Do you have any clues where Ruby went? She's not far. We know that much. She didn't take her lorry, so she's on foot. Good fucking luck, man. She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, Al. And we won't either. She's not really a party candidate anymore, is she? She's not, Glenn. Have you looked for her? A little. On the coast. Where have you looked for her, more precisely? More precisely? On the coast, past the water lock. She's not here, so I'm thinking she's there. Can you tell me where on the coast I should start looking? Sure. There's some shit houses there, a center block town. The fisher folk there refuse to unionize, so that's one place we haven't looked. I hear they have a shack where junkies sometimes crash. Time for you to step up. We will start there. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Boyish. Hair's red. Dyed. She looks like a Lowry maid. It's not much, but it'll do. It'll have to. Shake it. His grip is firm and reassuring, like holding a piece of unpolished granite. Not just granite. Tightly packed RCM sergeant material. You should be a cop, Titus. When are you gonna get it through your dumb head? I already am. I just wasn't sure you were. And he still isn't. People aren't afraid of good cops in the way Ruby was afraid of you, he thinks, then turns back to his men. All right, check that one off the list. More people at bar in the evening. Joyce's info on the lynching? I don't know. You think you have a pretty hot suspect right now, don't you? 
That ruby of yours? Yeah, and? Notice how it came together without casting too much suspicion on Classia. It was nice and ruby-centric in the end. What do you mean? Anything strike you a bit off about this mishmash? Well, the bull didn't have to come from the roof. It could have come from anywhere on the coast. Absolutely. It could have come from anywhere. But you're suddenly so certain it came from the roof behind the window. The bull was jacketed. These don't just lie around everywhere, do they? Good point. It is rather rare these days. But do continue. Turn out the bullet was antique. True. Strange how you conducted the whole advanced ballistics analysis and then hand waved it. The footprints in the pinball workshop didn't fit with the odd souls prints on the crime scene. No, they didn't. So far, no one has mentioned hearing the shot. Notice how this hasn't come up at all. Even Hardy and his boys didn't mention it. Neither did you. I'm done thinking about this. That's right. Finish thought. Just finish it and conveniently go on. She's watching you leave right now. You know that. Free as a bird on that roof. Lighting up a cigarette and thinking, Am I glad Ruby's in this shit and not me? Don't listen to this guy. The theory was solid. He's just jealous. Move on. It's no use harassing her further. All right. I keep an eye out, Volition. Listen up, Joyce. What? Went to the village on the coast? Oh, I see. So I completed, uh... I got... I got that thing to happen where Titus gave up Ruby's location. And then the uh, the Joyce plot line moves. Delici in the channel, if that's okay. It's too shallow near the pier. Hi, ma'am. And it's a jetty, by the way. Of course. Jetty. I prefer a good jetty to a pier any day. Jet, jet, jetty. Hello, ma'am. Hello, detectives. It's good to see you here. I only just arrived myself. What brings you here, madame? Nothing, really. I've had my eye on this jetty for weeks now, so I decided to investigate it personally. This cluster of buildings isn't on any of the official maps, as far as I can tell. That. And she's also keeping an eye on you. You've been spying on us. Spying has such a negative connotation. I did track your progress along the coast, however, and decided I would be better able to assist you from here. Then there's the matter of that little scamp in old lady clothes. She threatened to paint the cordelate she read. Like blood, you see. Well, I like it the way it is. White. So how do you like it here? Hmm. How do I like it? Water drips down eaves of Etonite. The jetty below her feet creaks to the tune. The smell of salt and dog shit in the background. It's pornographically poor the street has no name all the men are dead or missing and is that the carcass of a motor carriage over there i'm surprised that woman hasn't put me to the sword yet maybe she will you should ask your questions while you can dark eyes survey the coast leading up to martinez dull gray metal rests in her scabbard a sword the wind is too loud for her to hear fortunately for you madame the RCM is on the scene. All right. 
politics time. Let's react. Try not to be too scared. This is how the real city looks. Oh, I'm not frightened, officer. I'd never... Above you, there forms a quilt of alto cumulus clouds, twisting into each other. The wind tugs and stretches them over the bay. Their cloud shadows slide over the ruins of Revachol West. Wherever they pass, the temperature drops slightly, but perceptibly. Have I told you how they discovered this place? This fishing village? No, the Insel Indian, Isola. No, you haven't told me how they found it. Well, your condition has left you no worse off than most of these people. The literacy of eight is around 45% west of the river. 50 years of occupation have left these people in an oblivion of poverty. Forty five percent is around where I operate. Things are getting better, though. I knew you would sympathize. Most Revisholians will never know what this place means. Our home, this island of matter, or why they were ferried over in the first place. Remind me to tell you one day. For now, how can I assist you in this new location? I mean, now we have time. Uh... I hear you have singled out a suspect and are in pursuit. This is cause for cautious optimism. I would not want to delay you. This story she will tell only before she leaves Martinez at the very end of her stay. Maybe there is something else I can assist you with while you're hot in pursuit. That's the man who was killed. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Better not tie the force to- She wants to answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. Well, I don't care about what you have to say then. Thanks. Okay. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Have you seen a red-haired woman named Ruby around the coast? Nay, I haven't seen anyone lately. Okay, but do you know who I'm talking about? This is my little cinder block town. I know what goes on around here. She's being evasive. She knows something. There was a murder in Martinez. She might be a suspect. We would appreciate your help. Would you now? I know how this world works. And it doesn't work when people tell on each other. This isn't about the union and uh, you know, you don't have to worry about retaliation. Ah, I should have known. This is yet another union mess. I'm not afraid of them, you know. We are not in the habit of being afraid around here. I see, you know something, but you've decided not to tell us. There's not much to tell. People come and go. Now, was there something else? I see, now. I hope you don't mind if we look around anyway. You should look around your shack. Maybe she's rented it out to others too. What's further down the Not coast? Much. Where's the abandoned church? Some things. So, 
Did Anna? No. She's not telling you all she knows. Keep her talking. She nods, rinsing another piece of cloth. As you look at the floorboards in this corner of the shack, it's clear one of them isn't quite level with the others. The edge of a floorboard next to it looks scratched. Move the board aside. The hollow space underneath the floorboards is dark and damp. You can barely make out the mixture of sand and sawdust below. What's in here? Nothing particular catches your eye. Looks like more reeds. There might be something hidden inside the sand, though. Something bad. Someone's night thoughts. A last resort. A bad idea. Search through the sand and sawdust. You stick your hand in and start combing through the sand. Dry, not like outside. Fine dust. And then, something hard wrapped in paper. What is it? A small cylindrical object. You pull it out. A bullet. A nine millimeter bullet, to be exact. Fit for all muzzle loaders of that caliber. This bullet isn't for a breech loader like the murder weapon? The floorboard isn't interested. Maybe the washerwoman is. You have enough to confront her with. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. Why was there? I help you with? Why was there a bullet under the floorboards of your shack? Damn that girl! And without anger, a long and harsh life has taught her not to buckle under pressure. The bullet. The tenant turns to you and gives you a little nod. You didn't put it there, did you? She did. Gone and hid things in there. She's usually a good tenant. And not a stupid one, either. You rented the room to her? Yes. I let my room to that ruby girl. She speaks slowly, wringing out a rag after a long silence. Her hands move into the water bucket. Some water sloshes over the edge. As I've done before, when she's been in trouble, or just looking for solitude, I've made it clear. We welcome all kinds of people here. When was this? She came last Friday, left on Monday in a hurry. What has she gotten herself into, that girl? That's for the police to find out. Right there. Please answer each question to the best of your ability. I'm sure we have a few. He said she left on Monday? Yes, early with the dogs, around 8 o'clock, I think. She probably heard the lieutenant's Kanema drive by, and it woke her up, just like it did you. Kim, she must have your, heard your Kanema. Yes. That is a downside of having a 130 kilowatt engine. It lets the bad guys know when you are coming. Is the room exactly as she left it? I cleaned it, like I always do. Was there anything else in there? No. The truth, sire. What is she like, Ruby? She's good company. She knows how to talk to an old woman. At my age, you don't get a lot of quality conversation, so I really appreciate that about her. This Ruby is an old lady whisperer. She knows how to work the village elder, unlike you. Did she talk to you much during her last day? No, she was mostly silent this time. Kept to herself. What do you mean? She tried not to let it show, but I could tell she hadn't come to fish. Usually, she likes to cast a few lines, but this time, she mostly stayed in her room. She wanted to talk to her, as they usually do, but she was brooding. Why do you think she left a bullet there? How would I know? She's a gruff one, but not violent. She doesn't go around toting a gun. You could ask her about your hunch. That it was a desperate measure. See if she thinks Ruby fits the bill. I have a possible explanation in my mind. I do tell. It's an exit plan. Exit from what? 
this. The lieutenant stops writing for a moment. He looks at you, then at the old woman. No, she's a fighter. She really believes that. Where did she go? I don't know. Further up the coast. She tried to leave quietly, but the hinges on that door screeched like a cat in heel. Woke me up. I heard her rushing in those heavy boots, heading up north. It's a peninsula. She might be trapped. You'll never find her, you know. She knows the coast like the back of her hand. You only just arrived. I wouldn't worry about that, ma'am. We are persistent. Further up the coast we go, then. Are you sure you would rather stay here? Get a nice cozy fire going in the heater? Seems like a better idea to me. The Feld Electric Mural. You feel like you should go look at it again. Step closer this time. What more do you want to know? Yes, let's hear one thing, officer. If you do find her, please go easy on her. She really means it. It's an honest plea. She's a good girl. Whatever she's gotten herself mixed up in. Oh, it's snowing. I'm on my mission quest now. Dang. All right. I kind of feel like doing this. So I need to do interfacing. I think that's all I have. You always kind of come to this. All right, now we're gonna dive down the hole. Yeah. Goes the track in the background, never ending. You can't grasp what's missing, but you can try to make something up anyway. So a one and a six. Get a plus one. Five, so six. So I just need to get. 10 which isn't good that is tough saves coming good morning comrade bzz, 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 bzz. goes the track that was the old snake eyes all right so Ooh, that was close. Good morning, comrade. I get it to tell me the bzz, bzz, bzz every time. Thirteen. Need two more on top of that. Good morning, comrade. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Uh, 
I need two fives, a five six, or a six six. I could also just put one little extra bump into uh, interfacing. It's already pretty high. You know, I guess I can just put one point into it, right? I have five points, yeah. Good morning, comrade. Yeah. Twenty-eight percent. Side chain, the beat. That was it. I didn't even need it. Side chain? What does it mean? Side chaining. Hell yeah, side chaining. Listen, you can use the compressor to select between which track it's compressing. Either the auxiliary signal or the main input from the tape. Yeah. Make it alternate between the signals. The compressor Ooh. controls the gain based on the level of the signal on the aux side chain input. It will allow maintaining a loud sound without peaks that fill up all the headspace. Okay, Egg, you need to start side chaining it. It, you said. Turns on the music, his hands moving deftly across the mixer, setting up the necessary controls. Then he puts on his headphones and his eyes go wide, wider than they've ever gone on drugs. He starts jumping up and down with bliss in total silence, still listening to his headphones. Hey, what did you do to Egghead Cop Man? Did you break him? Just wait and see. Are you ready, Posse? Lloyd straightens his back, ready for the beat. I was born ready, Ed. Give him a thumbs up. This is hardcore. I forgot to do the the mind thing. Hardcore tricolor llama, thank you. Now is a perfect time to internalize Arno von Eich. Oops, forgot to do that beforehand. This is beauty. This is life. What in the world is going on? The way melody and bass flow together, it's unnatural. The hardcore aesthetic just got more bassy. We obtained the sound, made it our own. This one is for the Anonic Generation. Introducing the ultimate sound. We obtained the sound, made it our own. God damn it. This dance club idea might just work out. Delorean Church, the place to be. Pump it. Pump this is it. This is a new era. The fabric of the world has been irrevocably altered. Who would be the innocence of hardcore Anonic dance music?
He's a thought reader. No nation, but Trump's nation. No war, but class war. Communism rules the nation. Here comes the sun. Hey man, it's good to see you. How you doing, Tricolor Llama? Thanks for stopping in. Hardcore! Yaka tata! Goodbye, officer. Are we kind of done here? Yo, man. What's... Hardcore. I saw a little thought bubble. There it is. Could these wires work as contact microphones? Um, tools, flashlight. Have you sent a red-haired woman around here? No. Just no? It's pretty desolate here. I only hear the dogs bark at night and see the shadows move down the coast. It's good. No neighbors to complain about the noise when you get the club going. Exactly. It's our chance to turn the grim desolation into an overwhelmingly fun dance party. Okay. Solve that. Step closer. Broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall. And the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice. Fell electrical. How ironic. All these dark rooms. Fell electrical. You only know them as a small company that makes ink cartridges. Looks like they used to be big. There's something in the wind. Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. Why do I feel like I know this place? Indeed. Somehow you knew it was here. An urban ruin gutted by looters that once used to consume money and dispense warmth and light. You felt it before when it rained in Martinez and you felt the cold of the rain. The feeling persists. It has been in you ever since. Could Ruby be in there? In there? She could, or she could be in the identical ruin over there, or in that boat shack, in that church tower, maybe. Why single out this one building? Leave. Look at this other one then too. Hmm. 
door building hiding place could the instigator be inside there's no way the perk isn't here officer look how scarred the boards are all attempts to pry them off have failed can i try to get through though not this time the opposition is insurmountable but i like the spirit have some points it's lonely and cold without points. And dangerous. Dangerous too. Can we think she's in there? Point of the board about building. The suspect? God, I hope not. I can't see a way in. Though many have tried. Any more to do then? Well, there's a slit in the concrete here, a sewer. The light vanishes inside the concrete slit. The structure goes deep under the earth. What's in there? Maybe it's just a storm drain for the sewer. Can we any idea what's down there? No idea. Could be connected to one of the buildings around here. Think we might find Ruby down there? We might find her down somewhere. There's an old storm drain system beneath Martinez that's mostly collapsed. Revachal sewage system has been built and rebuilt four or five times now. In conclusion, she could be under any building. But not in there? I hope not. The once bright mural towers above you, saying, Feld Electrical R and D. Tomorrow is just a whisper away. Even though you're sure you succeeded, all is quiet. There is no cold hand brushing against your forehead, no rustle in the reeds. The wind has died down. The ruin in front of you is silent as a tomb. What was I even attempting to do here? Trying to talk to the wind. The city, whatever you thought would happen, did not. And now you're just standing there with your hands fallen to your side. Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Is it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? A prayer of sorts? To Rivershaw? She could be anywhere. How do we find her? How do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. Okay. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. We already scanned most of the outdoor area on our wild cryptid hunt, so we have an understanding of the geography, at least. And then there's the church. We've already searched that and can rule it out. I know it doesn't feel like progress, but exclusion is a step too. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way, sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula, Ask the locals, enter the places where we can enter first, like we did in the village. And if that fails, if we don't find her? Then, if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bankers, storm drainage, this place, I'm sure it won't come to that. Walk the coast, the old boardwalk, the reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. Look where it already got you. That sounds good. That sounds like a good place to stop. I want to thank you to Ivysaur for the follow. Thank you to Tricolor Llama for that first time chatting. Happy to have you here. With the, uh, the hardcore aesthetic lifestyle. And uh, to Ivysaur also for, for chatting about things. And thank you to Child Granny. Big thank you to Child Granny for 
letting me know that no sound was coming through for the first half an hour of the stream. So we got that fixed. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it. Give me a like, follow, comment, subscribe, anything that you feel like, uh, or not. Just keep watching the videos, right? That's what it's about. Um, but I mean, always like to hear how you're doing and what you're thinking about. <laughs>